If you think robots are only capable of performing tasks they've been specifically programmed to do and can't operate outside that scope, well, newsflash. A new robot is rewriting the rules. And it's not just in factories, but possibly in our everyday lives, too. Meet Figure Zero Two, the next-gen humanoid robot that's making us rethink what robots can actually do. But is it possible for a robot to truly think for itself and even learn from mistakes? Can Figure Zero Two exhibit common sense? And what does it mean for us if it can? Let's find out, ready? Figure is redefining the world of humanoid robotics with their newly announced Figure Zero Two, which comes just 10 months after the debut of Figure Zero One, a robot that was already making waves in the intelligent humanoid space. But before we dive deep into the revolutionary features of Figure Zero Two, let's take a quick trip down memory lane to refresh our understanding of its predecessor, Figure Zero One. Introduced less than a year ago, Figure Zero One had one major purpose, to be an all-round factory helper, designed to assist in manufacturing and assembly tasks. At the time, it was pretty impressive. It could follow programmed instructions, perform routine tasks, and even work side-by-side -side with human workers, showing a level of collaboration that was previously unheard of. And guess what? It didn't take long for Figure 01 to land a job at none other than the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Yes, you heard that right an AI-powered humanoid robot working in the real world. Have a look. Nearly six months ago, Figure announced its gleaming silver humanoid robot had got its first job working at a BMW manufacturing plant. It's been training up for the occasion, and new video shows how far this general-purpose worker has come. There's a ton of these AI-powered humanoids under development at the moment, with all sorts of different hardware and learning approaches, but they're all focused on the same goal taking over any physical task a human can do, and doing that job cheaper and more consistently. But let's admit it. Like most first-generation technology, there were limits to what Figure Zero One could do. It was groundbreaking, yes, but it had its boundaries. It followed a strict set of programmed commands, and while it was great at routine work, it wasn't exactly what you'd call flexible or adaptive. Fast forward 10 months, and we've now got Figure Zero Two, the next-gen version. And trust me when I say, this isn't just an upgrade, it's a full-blown revolution. We're talking about a robot that's more than just a machine blindly following pre-programmed instructions. Figure Zero Two can actually hold conversations with workers on the job, taking in instructions, and even giving feedback. Imagine a robot that you can chat with while you're working together. Sounds futuristic, right? But that's not all. Figure Zero Two can adjust its behavior on the fly and most importantly, correct its own mistakes without any human stepping in to reprogram it. With all these advancements, experts are now seriously asking, did the Figure Zero Two AI robot just exhibit common sense? Imagine this, you're working on the factory floor and you have a quick question for the robot helping you assemble parts. With most robots, you'd have to punch in commands, type something into a terminal, or rely on an operator to get the information you need. But not with Figure Zero Two. This robot can actually talk back to you. That's right, it can hold a real conversation. Thanks to its advanced speech-to-speech -speech software, Figure Zero Two can not only understand what you're saying, but also respond in a way that feels almost human. Embedded in its body are microphones and speakers that allow it to listen and speak. And these aren't just any standard mics and speakers. They're connected to custom AI models, developed in collaboration with OpenAI. You know, the same OpenAI behind the cutting-edge language model GPT-4? So, Figure Zero Two isn't just spitting out pre-recorded responses like a fancy Alexa. It's having real, intelligent conversations. Picture this. You ask your factory robot, Hey, did you finish that assembly? And instead of just blinking some lights or giving you a basic yes or no, Figure Zero Two responds with something like, Yes, I did, but I noticed a small issue with the placement. Don't worry, I've already corrected it. Now that's not just interaction, that's engagement. Think about it for a second. An AI robot that works alongside you, communicates with you, and even fixes its own mistakes before you have to ask. Does that sound like common sense to you? 
Are we looking at the future where robots actually understand their environment? Let us know your thoughts as we dive into the next groundbreaking feature of Figure 02. If you thought Figure 02's ability to communicate and hold conversations was the major bombshell, well, get ready for a whole new level of intelligence this robot brings to the table. Let's talk about something even more mind-blowing, its ability to fix its own mistakes. Now, what if a robot could recognize its own errors and correct them without anyone needing to step in? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, that's exactly what Figure 02 does. Its most groundbreaking feature is what the company calls self-correcting learned behavior. In simpler terms, this means the robot is constantly learning from its own actions. If it makes a mistake, let's say it picks up a tool incorrectly or places a part in the wrong spot, it doesn't just stand there waiting for a human to come over and fix it. No, Figure 02 detects the error, learns from it, and then corrects it on its own. That's right. It's literally adjusting and improving itself in real time. Amazing, right? I mean, these robots seem to be advancing so quickly with new capabilities that we can barely keep up with their older features, right? One minute we're impressed with basic functions, and the next, they're learning from their own mistakes. So, what does this mean in the bigger picture? Doesn't this imply that Figure 02 would be much more effective than its predecessor, Figure 01, since it can correct its mistakes and avoid repeating them in the future? Absolutely. Over time, this means the robot becomes better and more efficient at its tasks. It's not just doing the same things over and over, it's actually improving based on real-time feedback from its own work. Think about it. It's like having a coworker who can train themselves. And you know what? That's starting to sound a lot like common sense. The ability to learn, adapt, and correct mistakes without someone having to constantly watch over you. So, can we say that Figure 02 is displaying common sense? It sure seems like it. Now let's talk about something important. Humanoid robots like Figure 02 are designed to mimic humans in their physique. Arms for grabbing things, legs for moving, and so on. But for robots like Figure 02 and its predecessor, Figure 01, which are designed to be game changers in tasks that require a good grip and precision, OpenAI has really put in the work. They've equipped Figure 02 with a pair of hands so sophisticated that even other robots would be jealous. We often take our own dexterity for granted, picking up objects, twisting them, turning them, and placing them exactly where they need to go. For a robot, though, that kind of fine motor control is a massive technological challenge. And yet, Figure 02 has what OpenAI calls fourth-generation hands, giving it an incredible 16 degrees of freedom. That's right. These robot hands can bend, twist, and rotate in 16 different directions. So why does this matter? Well, in a manufacturing setting, this kind of flexibility means the robot can handle a wide variety of tasks. Whether it's carefully placing fragile objects or gripping and lifting heavy tools with force, Figure 02 is up for the job. And get this, the robot's hands are the same size as a human's, making it much easier to work with tools and objects that were originally designed for people. The coolest part? Figure 02's hands are powered by integrated wires and cables hidden inside its body. This gives it a sleek, futuristic look. No mess of external wiring getting in the way. So, could this dexterity and adaptability be another sign of common sense? The ability to adjust how it uses its hands depending on the task? Let us know what you think in the comments and let's keep this conversation going. Now let's talk about power. Figure 02 is built for long shifts, designed to boost efficiency and productivity. Inside its torso, you'll find a 2.25 kilowatt hours custom battery pack. Why is that a big deal? Well, it gives the robot 50% more energy than its predecessor. That's a lot more runtime, which means Figure 02 can keep working without having to recharge as often. But here's what's really interesting. Figure 02 isn't just powerful, it's incredibly efficient. With that increased battery life, combined with its ability to self-correct and even hold conversations, this robot is all about maximizing productivity. It doesn't just perform tasks, it makes sure those tasks are done correctly, and it keeps itself powered up while doing it. All of this advanced behavior wouldn't be possible without a powerful brain, and trust me, Figure 02 has one. 
The company says it packs three times more processing power than its predecessor. And here's the kicker. It doesn't need to rely on any external computers for help. Everything from decision-making to voice recognition happens right inside the robot in real time. What does this mean for you? Well, Figure 02 can process a huge amount of information, whether it's your voice commands, visual inputs from its surroundings, or environmental data without any lag. The result? Faster decisions, more precise actions, and an overall smoother experience on the job. Now, we know that a lot of these features sound incredible in theory. But what about real-world application? Well, Figure 02 has already been put to the test in a BMW manufacturing plant, where it collected data, learned new tasks, and even helped train its AI systems. At this point, we have to ask ourselves, if a robot can learn from its mistakes, correct itself, converse with humans, and work independently in a manufacturing plant, is that common sense? Could we be witnessing the early stages of true robotic intelligence? Haven't seen our recent video where we broke down everything you need to know about the Figure 01 robot working at the Spartanburg BMW plant? Then you definitely need to check it out here.